Hey everyone, happy Saturday. So I just wanted to come on here and show you um, the eye look that I've been doing. It's just like a natural eye look. It's been requested, so I thought I would just come on here and show it. Um, so my face today, I did use the CC cream in light. And then I used this pressed powder. It's uh, the Cool Light 01 and Mila broke it. So I had to use tape to keep it shut. And then for like the blush and highlight and everything, which is really nice. Like if you can see that, it's so pretty. Um, I just used this Peach Bite Palette. It's my like OG go-to palette. I like it a lot. This is what I'm gonna be using for my eye. Um, and then in addition to the mono eyeshadow, this is Warm Taupe. I think it's 05 Warm Taupe. And you may hear Mila, she's sitting next to me in her high chair. So um, let's get going. So yeah, if you want to see how I do just like the base, uh, I can always do a video. Just uh, leave that in the top comment if you'd like to see it. It's pretty simple, straightforward, but you never know if you wanna see it or not. So. Um, I might just do it anyway, just for fun. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna start out by using this like bronzer shade, and I'm gonna use this little, it's like a crease brush. So I'll just get a little bit of that, and then you always wanna tap off the excess just so you don't get a lot of fallout. And I'm gonna be referring to this mirror. I'm just gonna be using, uh, or I'm just gonna be doing one eye because this can kind of be lengthy. So what I like to do is just pop it on the outside and then I have hooded eyes. So I like to go above my crease. That way it kind of pushes everything back and gives the illusion that I have more of a crease than I actually do. So you just want to put it in and then you can do like windshield wipers. And I bring this, I have a lot of real estate so I have a lot to work with up in here. So um, I just like bring it up. And the key to this is just making sure it's blended well. This is a, like, you know, just a simple look, everyday look. I think it would complement everybody's complexion and um, it's just nice. So while I'm doing this, you know, you just do like little circular motions and I do that up in here and then you can always bring it back and forth. But you just wanna make it look soft. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not going in the, in the center of the lid. I am avoiding that because I'll show you what I'm gonna be doing there. So this is just like a great starter. If you wanna try pharmacy, but you don't know where to start, this one is a good palette to buy. Um, okay, so I need to blend a little bit, but I wanted to show you, I'm gonna pop a little bit like in the inner corner, just a little bit, just a hair, just to kinda give it some dimension. I'm always in my kitchen doing these videos because the lighting in here is the best in my whole entire house. So that's what we're, we're working with today. So just a little bit right there, not too much. And I am not a professional makeup artist by any means, but this is just what I like to do. Um, I've been doing a lot of experimenting with makeup since starting this business. So. Um, I just kind of play around and see what works and what doesn't work and kind of just go from there. So as you can see, like the center, there is a little bit, but there's not a whole, whole lot. Um, but I just kind of run it up and you can deepen it more if you want. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Okay, so I just use this little brush. Um, I guess it's like an eyeshadow brush is what you could call it. 
And I like to take this and run it like right along my water line just so everything is cohesive and kind of blends together. So there's no harsh harshness. So yeah, that's just pretty much it. Now, like I said, you can darken this up. In on camera, it doesn't look as as dark, I don't think, but it looks pretty good to me. Like this, this is a pretty good look. Okay, so next, what I like to do is use <laughs> use the warm taupe and uh, the same little crease brush and just get a little bit on there and then I will do the outer corner only just to kind of deepen that and I guess you can run it up I actually I do run it up a little bit While I'm just sitting here doing this, I will tell you, Pharmacy did just launch a new mascara as if they don't have enough already. But uh, this one is pretty unique because it has Capixel in it, which I think I have posted a couple of times about the Garlic Capixel shampoo. They have a whole line and it's for hair growth. We have a lash and eyebrow serum that is pretty popular and the capixel is in that as well so this mascara is not only gonna lengthen lift and uh, separate your lashes but it also has that capixel it's gonna keep them nice and um, you know hydrated basically and then help with growth so that one's new I believe it's called limitless and it is $24.90. So if you would like to purchase it, let me know. Or just I'll link, as always, my website and you can check it out for yourself. But that is one of the new products. Um, I am planning on getting eyeshadow palettes. Uh, the, the new ones that launched last month. I just haven't got around. I there they were out of stock, so they just restocked. One second, baby. All right, I'm back. I had to pause the video. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. And now what we're gonna do is um, take this center highlight, and I use my ring finger, and then I just press it in the center. So. This, if you do it this way, it gives a better color payoff than if you use like a brush. I guess you could use an eyeshadow brush and like push it or press it on your eyelid, but I like to do this better. Okay, so I put a little bit there and then I put a little bit on the inner corner just to kind of brighten it up. And this, um, the highlight is like a champagne color. It's super pretty. So that is pretty much all I do. Pretty easy. You know, the key to all this is just basically blending. You want to make sure there's no like super harsh lines. Everything is cohesive. Actually, I do one more thing I forgot about. I, I take one of these brushes, it's just a little, I don't even know what you would call this brush, and I just get a little bit of that highlight on, and then I go right above this um, just to define the, or highlight the brow bone. And there you have it. So super easy um, you could leave it this way I always pop on a little bit of mascara just to you know spice it up a little bit but yeah super simple love the look nice and natural um, so anyway 
that is it. I hope you all are having a wonderful Saturday. It's snowing outside. It's really beautiful. It's like a winter wonderland. So anyway, that's it. Have a good rest of your Saturday and thanks for watching the video. Bye.